It's just a quick note of introduction and a reminder of the upcoming British shooting show in February. A great place to meet up with the shooting industry and hopefully we will see you all there for a chat about the new steel loads on the Game Boy stand. Important day today because my first full day on steel and as you went we're at Water Priory I went with Frank Croft and uh, as everybody knows steel is the in thing at the moment we've got to get uh, into the food chain um, there's a thing with Wild Justice that I noticed the other day that uh, they are going around the supermarket shelves checking whether uh, let shots is still being used so if we can't get in, in the food chain then we can't really say that we've got a need to be shooting and killing anything. And one thing about Water Priory, <coughs> from the very beginning, you know, they're, they're, they're thinking forward all the time and they've gone full, fully non-toxic, steel or uh, bismuth or whatever, as long as it's not lead. So every, every game that, that is shot here today will finish up on that supermarket shelf. And if anybody's dodging, you know, still shooting lead, that's okay. Uh, because it's not totally banned just yet. That's okay if they're taking and consuming it themselves, but don't try and get it into the food chain because if it finishes upon themselves, wild justice, that's all they're looking for to attack the shooting industry. You're right. We, we've took the decision to go. We didn't take it lightly, but you, everything has to go for food. Yeah. And it's good food. Yeah. And we've seen since, I mean, I've never felt the effects of lead and I don't think you have. No. But they say it's toxic, so we take that away from it. The steel, the game bar steel, is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I mean, Paul James, they've worked with us, we've worked with us, I mean, they've supported yeah. us. I mean, yeah. we can't tell the difference. The ability of the cartridge is above the ability of most shooters. Yeah. Shooting at ethical birds that are killable. What's all this? It's you your ass, Dave. Hang on a minute. It's... What's in here? A planty one. Lead detector. This is a new thing at Water Well, it isn't a new thing at Water Prey. Obviously, Frank, Frank Beenham, Beenham got himself a, uh, a lead detector, so that's what it is. So, anybody who thinks of fetching lead or trying to get away with it, you've got Pete to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Pete. <laughs> oh, all right, buddy. How are you? How are you? All right, buddy. Good old boy. Hey, listen, Good old boy. One of the old wild fowling. Yeah, mate. Right. Yeah. yeah. Are you still doing a bit? Yeah, I'm, mate. Yeah. yeah. When was last time you were out then, Fred? A bit later on. A bit yeah. later on, yeah. Uh, yeah. Feeding one or two places up. Yeah. Are you still then, using the ten bars or? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was still lad. launch out there, mate. Yeah. Got it, haven't you? Yeah. Mate. Yeah. Right. Are many geese about? Um, eight on that east coast, about eighty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. One of the old characters in the uh, in, pulling, uh, listen, in the wild fowling pulling, world. Pulling Can shoot out. anything. Yeah, mate. Got yeah, got it, haven't you? Nice, nice to see you, Fred. Nice to see you, Fred.
driving rally, that. Unbelievable. I mean, that's a 32 gram Ford, and as Lee's lads will tell you, when, when they did hit him, I smoked them all together. Um, nice sporting birds, one or two along. One or two long crosses as well, and still did the damage. So, so far, yards, some of them, Dave. Sixty yeah, yard, yes. absolutely. Yeah. Bolax. So far, no complaints. But yeah. we well, could see the impact on them. I mean, that pheasant there was. Oh yeah. Ooh. I mean, it was smacking the middle and Rolled did a proper up. job yeah. of it. Some of these out here as well. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. yeah. So far, the test on steel is uh, looking good. I can't. Good. I can't deny that, mate. On the second drive, and we're just going to have a go with bismuth. Uh, these are game bore, 34 gram threes. First time I've shot them, so on a non toxic day, tip water priory. A drive called uh, Long Grass, produces some good birds, and you see some good crosses here. So hopefully, we'll be able to get one or two. As I say, I don't know what these bismuths are like, but they say they're good. So we'll soon find out. After shooting the 32 gram force steel on the first drive, which was mainly partridge, I decided to try the Game Boy Bismuth 34 gram threes, which would technically be a number four in lead. And being the end gun, I was able to concentrate on some very good crosses. Just to remind everyone, I was using the new Miracle MK game steel proof guns and as you can see combined with the high performance 32 gram threes game bar steel everything worked very well on pheasants from 40 yard to 65 yard which is a superb bird for everyone Just tried business walking up to the pegs, shot some good uh, cock birds and hen bird pheasants on the way up. And now, we've, we, lads have persuaded me to switch to steel now, so we've, we've got to mix and match sort of thing to see what to, if there's any difference. Uh, that was the, the 34 gram threes, and they seem to work well. And we're now back to 32 gram four steel. Look at all the all the people employed at Water Priory. It's unreal, and there's still people coming in now because the do, the, uh, the dogmen are still picking up. So there'll still be, I would think, I would think, half a dozen dogmen still out there picking game up. What they do at Water Priory after the shooting done, the, the sweep, the valley, make sure everything's picked up. There's nothing left wounded or anything. I've been coming here a lot of years, and the one thing about Water, they, they, they like to do everything 100% correct. It's nice to see all these people employed, but we've got to keep on top of the job as far as uh, non-toxic shot is. It's, it's, whether we like it or not, it's coming. It's going to help preserve jobs and uh, you know, help preserve the, the, the sports that uh, we have in the countryside, especially the shooting sports. We don't want to see anything vanish. It's run properly. We've created a, a fantastic landscape, all created by hunting and shooting. 
Let's hang on to it as long as we can. What we just realised here, right, is uh, although I've stayed away from it as much as possible, these 32 gram freeze actually killed some storming stuff there. And I shot yep. some crossing passes here, good 65, 70 yard away with 32 gram freeze steel. Yeah. I was going to mix and match with bismuth, and I didn't bother when I saw no. what they were doing to them. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> I think Frank's right. He's persevered, but he's right. Yeah. Yep. The right get the right gun. You know, and with the right pellets, these do kill. Some good, again. long, tall, strong pheasants to the back of you again. 60, 70 yard, dead as nits, first, yeah. first shot. Yeah, so. if you put them in the right place, these actually are doing the job. Fantastic. And, 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 probably and I'm quite happy to come to Water Priory and, shoot, and them. shoot them at anything they've got at Water Priory. And good. they've got some of the strongest birds in the country at Water Priory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and my fear of not being able to kill the cop birds has just been proven wrong. Good, good. So thanks very much, Game Boat. Well shot. Thank you very much, Neil. Well shot. Yeah.
Fantastic day, Frank, as normal at Water Priory. And uh, going back to the, the, the huff or about bloody steel shot and lead shot and lead's going out, we've got to get rid of it, as you know, to, to be able to sell the product. Everything that's been shot here today can go straight on a supermarket shelf, yep. which is great. And that's, that's the ultimate aim. That's, that enables us to, to, to keep shooting going, of course. Yep. Um, but the, old, the, the big UR has always been that steel shot is not suitable outside of lead. The lead might, it might have the edge on it in certain circumstances, but in saying that's the first time I've shot a full day on steel. Yep. Obviously, we can't get away with anything here. It's, it's monitored, so don't think about coming here with anything other than non-toxic. It's uh, closely monitored, but in saying that, I've enjoyed my day on steel because I've tried various loads of what Game Board have supplied with me. Uh, fours, shot some fantastic uh, parties with them, and then went up to on two threes on the on the pheasants. Shot some lovely pheasants with them, and then I tried the more expensive bismuth, and I don't think well Avenue End is a fantastic drive to finish off. So let's let's it's quite clear Avenue End is one of the most difficult drives in the country. It's got that wind on it as well today, so it's there won't be a lot to show on camera because we didn't kill a lot on it. But I'm not blaming the shot for that. Uh, but I did think that the steel threes did have the edge on the bismuth threes. Um, that's my personal opinion. Um, they're both game bars, one, one being more expensive than the other, uh, but I would go with the less, exp the, the less expensive one, the, 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 the steel threes, because I didn't see, really see any difference in, in the well, They all said it would render the old English guns useless, but the bismuth proves it doesn't. So anybody with the expensive old English guns or whatever can shoot the bismuth. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Well, business, I've shot with three, qu three quarter, three quarter, and uh, but, I've, but I'm using the new MK game, yep. uh, kindly supplied by Browning. Yeah, but definitely, as far as I'm concerned, Paul James and the Game Boy outfit will keep shooting, carrying on, killing cleanly, ethically. Birds that's in everybody's ability to kill. Yeah. Them cartridges now, they have something that will can kill them and kill them clean. Go into the food chain. No, that's how Ecclesial's gone. They can't keep throwing. You can't put lead into food. Fair enough, we are doing it and it will keep it going. So, well done, Game Boy. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's easy, it's easy to blame the equipment. It's easy, and you haven't heard me say anything about the equipment. Yeah. For the first time ever in your life. For the first time ever in my life. Because, you know, steel, steel, has, steel has actually performed on on three drives, and I would say it's me that's not performing on the last drive, you know. Uh, it's, it's same price as lead, so. Same price as lead, but uh, yeah. Brilliant. All credit to you, mate. Thank Great you. day, and um, I think there's been some good shooting all the way down the line. Everybody's shot well. As I said, I've shot some good birds with steel today, which has surprised me, and there will be better loads to come within the next two years. You will not know the difference there will be better things to come. So let's end that on that. Thanks very much for a great day, Frank. And Cheers, keep doing what you're doing, mate. We will. My personal choice of steel loads are the 32 gram threes and the new steel 35 gram threes, which will be the subject of our next film on steel loads. Hopefully, see you all at the British Shooting Show. Take care and have a great end of season.